Black Gang, it's your boy, it's your homie, it's your finish that, man, finish that, man. Hey, <sighs> y'all already know why y'all here, man. Y'all here to laugh, man. I feel like laughing, man. I feel like laughing with y'all. Bill Burr put me in a great mood to do reactions, man. So I'm going to start this day right here with Bill Burr, man. Black friends close in Harlem. Now, I don't know what it is about this one, this, this particular video that y'all like, but we finna find out very soon. We got eight minutes of Bill Burr, bro. This is finna be the longest eight minutes of my life, bro. That is tough. But we finna check this out, man. I already know it's finna be funny just because y'all suggested it, man. Y'all don't y'all don't suggest whack bids, bro. That's why I love y'all. That's why when I don't know what to react to, I go straight to the comment section. And, and a thousand videos I can react to is right there. That's tough, man. I be sitting over here like, bro, what am I gonna react to today? Then I just go to the comment section and that question is answered real quick. But hey, we finna start the day off with this right here, man. Let's get it. <laughs> Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion, <laughs> and uh, I got to get rid of them, man. I got to admit to you. Got to get rid of them. I'm fine. I'm spending too much money on clothes hanging out with them because I got to, like, fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. <laughs> it's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. Y you got brand that, new shit. So you got to do it. With my white version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I ironed the shit, right? I ironed it, right? It's new. <laughs> they just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking. Hey, I found out Beer Burr wife was black too, man. That is tough. That's why he got so many jokes, man. He, that's why he got so many jokes. I wasn't surprised when I found out either. I was not surprised. 58 <laughs> pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Ever notice that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland? And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's like a rule or something. They're the worst. Even when you wear some new shit, there's like some sort of rule that you gotta like space out the amount of time with, within which like that you wear it. Cause God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10 day period. Bro, you can't, you can't do it. You can't do it. You cannot do it. I'm, I'm just like that, bro. I'm just like that, bro. Like when I wear something, I don't want to wear it no more. That's why. I, I turn all my clothes I buy into my reaction clothes. Like, if that makes sense. Y'all will see me wear, like, the same shit over and over on my reactions. Because I'm not going to wear it out in the street no more. Like, I I give it to JoJo. JoJo love wearing my shit, bro. Like, I wear shit, like, one time and I don't wear it no more. One of them's going to notice. All of a sudden, just look at you funny like, this motherfucker's got the same shit <laughs> he had on last Tuesday. <laughs> And then the whole car's like, oh, shit! <laughs> hey! Everybody just starts making fun of your fucking clothes. First they do the math, like, what was that, five days ago? Five days, this motherfucker got five shirts! Hey, niggas really do that, five yo! Five shirts! And they start breaking it down. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday, next shit be saying Tuesday. <laughs> yo, on the weekend, he ain't be wearing no shirts! <laughs> oh, no, no. This nigga Bill, man. I'll tell you, that's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me. <laughs> no, I was like the typical white dude from, like, the suburbs. You know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? <laughs> My only frame of reference with black people was, like, those, remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? <laughs> you know, the fucking L.A. riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. Uh, hey. Yo, Bill, is, bro, this man is so down to earth, bro. You know, you know how many white, you know how the many white friends I had just like that. Ain't no shit about black people. They all thought the same shit. They think about the same shit. Goddamn N.W.A., Tupac, all that shit, all that gangster stuff, all the gangster movies. They think it. That's how I go every day. Everybody not living like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the video, so he's got a nice car, he's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. <laughs> These black dudes are never happy. Never. But after 10 years of living in the sea, this is how I narrow it down. 
whether a black dude scares me or not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. Hey, they better. They're, hey. No. The ones with the black forces will beat your ass. Them, that's the last shit that they're going to let go. The immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if it's... Bruh, if a black man's shoes messed up, you can't trust them, bruh. <laughs> If his shoes dirty, you better get you better get a body there, Bill. Cause he don't get, he don't care about life if his shoes mess. The sneakers are fucked up. That means his life is fucked up. <laughs> Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood. Oh shit! <laughs> Everyone starts making fun of him. <laughs> He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody kind of mug me kind of face. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying something's gonna happen. I'm just saying I'm paying attention. <laughs> So I've been seeing this girl recently, uh, this black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone out like three, four times, you know? First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. <laughs> so shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was more like Midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? Oh, so snap! 3.30 in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. <laughs> It's a situation. Yeah, you know Hold up. Deal, right? Basically, a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th Street. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st yeah, Street, I know. start getting like a little asthma. Like, oh, fuck. It's going to get a little high up here. <laughs> you feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? <laughs> I'm on 6th Street, you're like leaning on shit. Like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? <laughs> How come there's no taxis up here? Dude, no. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Let's get, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, yo. <laughs> well, I'm praying to God she's going to tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder yeah. and see like all the white people like disappearing <laughs> over the horizon, you know? But she goes, no, man, you want to get on the Uptown 2-3 train, you want to get off at 125th Street. I'm like, God, fuck oh. 125th Street. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's like right in the middle of everything. You, you in there. <laughs> I'm going to be surrounded on all four sides. I can't fucking do this. <laughs> Yo, he deep, bro. I know a little bit. I know a little bit about up there, man. I've been up there a couple of times, man. He deep in there, man. Like he said, he right there in the middle. <laughs> you say he told I'm surrounded by all four sides. That's tough, man. I'm going to be surrounded on all four sides. I can't fucking do this. <laughs> so, at this point, I'm really trying to hide, like, the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice. You know? <laughs> and I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. <laughs> So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after like a black leader, you know? She's like, make a left on Adam Clayton, take a right on Frederick Douglass. I'm like, ah, fuck Adam Clayton. <laughs> Yo, dude, go on the internet, look up Adam Clayton. <laughs> Did he kill a bunch of white people during the slave revolt? <laughs> dude, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam Clayton did. Fuck this shit. Yo, yo, this nigga being a real one, bro. So at this point, I'm really having a battle with myself. Because I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going, no, come on, man, we can do this, right? <laughs> Fact. Just relax. Hey, that's two different brains right there, man. That's totally two different brains, bro. Y'all know how much stupid shit me and them did because they was horny, bro. That <laughs> Yo, men to do anything to get some, bro. That's tough. Pull yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? So as always, I listen to my dick. <laughs> Oh yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like five or four in the morning, right? I'm staying on like Malcolm X and like Danny Glover or some shit. Right? <laughs> you talking about Danny Glover? I don't even know where the hell I'm at. When I see the street, I want to go up. I want to go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building, but there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where I want to walk. Right? Well, fuck no fuck. shoes. Well, fuck no shoes. <laughs> I thought I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm thinking I gotta walk right by these guys, right? Uh -oh. You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know? But I'm also really, really white, you know? Like shockingly Caucasian. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like, if you're not ready for me, I can, like, surprise you. <laughs> no, especially if you live up there. You've probably seen a white person for hours, possibly days. So when I show up, it's almost like magical. Like a leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? <laughs> Felt like I should have, like, a little pot of gold. <laughs> like a rainbow behind me. Top of the morning to you, latte. <laughs> kind of dance my way past them. He told it. <laughs> But it's been going all right, you know? Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax, sit down, you know, watch a hip-hop countdown. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, Bill is undefeated, bro. Bill is undefeated out here, bro. I can't with this guy right here, man. <laughs> he tell me watching the hip-hop Bro, I don't care what black person house you go in back in the day. If they ain't got BET 106 in part, top 10 countdown playing, they not black, bro. <laughs> if they ain't got the countdown playing, she ain't really black. Bill got him a real one. <laughs> Sit down, you know, watch a hip hop countdown. <laughs> Pretend like I know the groups, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But you know, I don't get mad at it because I figure, you know, black dudes got to go through the same shit though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl. <laughs> right? Just that same awful feeling of just leaving your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. You probably start off lean and you're all fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and 2. Yeah, yeah. I don't like this shit. Oh, shit. I don't like this shit at all. Where the hell am I? Yo, you got to bro, bro, you got to pull your pants up, man, you got to, bro, you got to put the glocks away, bro, out, bro, you got to do it all, man. There's too much grass, I don't see any rims, this is fucked up, none of the windows are tinted, I can clearly see white people in every corner, this is fucked up. <laughs> Listen, you guys were awesome, thank you so much for coming out. Yo, yo, Bill got to be the realest person on the earth, bro. Bill got to be the realest one, bro. Oh, my God. That's a... <laughs> he tell me none of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see his white people. <laughs> Yo, I cannot with this dude, man. Bro, hopefully y'all enjoy that vid, man. I told you, I feel like I be watching the vid with y'all, man. If that video made y'all laugh, man, hit that like button, man. Like the video. Let's get this video to 10K likes, man, for some Mobile Burr or comedy in general, man. I, I, I did two comedy reactions this week. I feel good. I'm going to try to do some every other day, man. I saw somebody say, do, do some comedy every other day. 10,000 likes. We'll keep it going, man. Let's get it.